Hello everyone and welcome to part three of the Overunity Motor Generator, also called the Dodecatron, which is going to be my version of this pen design. In my previous videos, I broke down in very fine detail how this Overunity Motor patent application works and how much energy it is able to produce. According to this patent, if you use 54 phase coils, every third coil being a motor winding while the other two are a generator winding, then you can get a one to two output ratio coming from the motor, which achieves 200% plus over unity, according to this patent. The rotor consists of six magnets, and it's also used in three specific circuits. One is called a velocity encoder, a commutation encoder, and a photosensor. If you synchronize the phases just right, you should get a wavelength output looking like this on all six phases of your output. So this is a six phase generator, not a three phase on top of that. Now, before I get to the next part, I just wanna break down how this generator works. This generator is going to consist of eight, 16 coils, four coils at the center, and 12 coils on the outside ring of this stator design that I have here. This is the first prototype design that I printed off, but it is technically only a single phase generator, and it produces a very high frequency with a decently high RPM as well. This generator produces a frequency of over 500, sorry, 472 hertz, and it's only a single phase generator. And what I'm going to do next is create 16 more spools, and I will wrap them with 900 turns of 0.3 millimeter wire, and I will have them underneath this first set of magnets here. And I will have a bigger 10 inch, or seven inch wheel, I'm sorry, with 36 magnets going in it, which should give me a frequency output that is nearly three times higher. But I'm going to assume that since the wheel will be bigger, it's going to produce a frequency twice as high, which will be closer to around seven, 800 hertz on the outside of the wheel, while the inside of the wheel should be producing roughly 450 to 475 hertz. So what I'm about to show you next is the power output of this coil array that I have here when it is hooked up to a step-up transformer. From what I'm gathering in my experiments here, it is obvious that the higher the frequency goes, the more EMF gets produced in these air core coils, and it allows much higher voltage and current to flow as a result. I have tested a few designs personally just to make double sure of this but this is the only way to actually start scaling up your generator designs, and that's by figuring out what coil structure works the best with your magnet array. So be sure to like, subscribe, and share, and let me know what you think in the comment section below. Enjoy. All right, so for this video, I am using two out of the four phase coils needed for this single phase generator, but to break it down in layman's terms, if you use four coils instead of two, you will create a complete single phase output that will be more beneficial than utilizing two coils, which is technically not giving you much surface area. The more surface area you have, the better your potential of collecting volts and current. The higher the frequency goes, the better your chances of collecting volts and current inside of an air core coil. Now these two coils here, they do not produce a very high voltage and current due to the fact that there's just not too many of them and the frequency is too low. If the frequency is too low, then you won't get the output that you are looking for in your coils. Now, as you can see here, I am just checking the output of both of the coils and you've seen that it had an output of 
two volts, less about one volt uh, with barely any milliamp reading. Now this is where it gets a little interesting. The milliamps and the volts on this step up transformer with a output coil of 38 ohms is actually able to step up the power coming from these two coils. And I've also tested this with three coils and the power will gain five times higher in the step up transformer, which I will be uploading in the next video. So as you can tell right here, I am connecting my battery to the motor and I am producing a higher voltage in the transformer, closer to five volts. And you will notice that I am producing a milliamp reading of 0.46 milliamps. Now when you add a third coil onto this, the milliamps will actually go up to one whole milliamp at that given frequency. And if you increase the frequency, the milliamps will go five times higher. So from what I'm reading in my books and researching on the web, it seems that the higher the frequency goes, the better your chances of producing energy inside of air core coils versus using an iron core, which does create a huge resistance on your magnetic flow. So now using a six watt step up power source, I am able to get a frequency of 472 hertz and an output of two milliamps at five volts. Now in this video, I am using an even greater step-up transformer, but the output coil has a huge resistance on it, so it's, it's capable of carrying volts more than current. But what's fascinating is how the volts even react at the given frequency. If you look at the bulb in my hand right now, it is lit up, and I'm trying to get a current draw from the step-up transformer. Now the bulb gets brighter after I pull my leads off because of the current draw rerouting into my body, which is creating back EMF going into the light bulb. I just thought this was a great interesting experiment to start with. I will show off part four with all four coils tuned.